This presentation shows the event reports available on the Thin Client of a Eurizen product. Once you're logged in on your Thin Client, you have access to these various tabs here. If you select the event reports, you can see all the reports available under your domain. In this case, we have one event log browser here containing a number of reports, 10 in this case. Each of them can be edited or deleted using these buttons. And if you want to create a new report, for instance, uh, a number 11 My Report, you just enter a name here. You select from the list of available the 19 different profiles that we have here the type of report that you want to generate, for instance, count of alarms fleeting. Specify in this case the T value for the fleeting um, time. You specify the type of timestamp you want to use, whether you, you want it to be absolute, relative, or predefined, for instance, last month. And you specify or not whether you want the system to cache the result of your uh, report. In this case, we'll cache the result and ask the system to automatically, on the first Friday of every month at 6 o'clock, to regenerate this report. Once you've done with that, you just click Add, and the report is added to your list. To run it, just go on this column here and click the name of that report, and the system will execute your report and produce the results. For all these reports, you can decide to export them to a CSV file. You can edit the query to refine uh, your report and eventually look at a more detailed view of um, this report, you can view help, you can force a regeneration of a cache report, and you can also show all the events embedded in this query here. Here we have various type of reports. We have text reports like this one. We have graphical reports showing the total number of alarms and uh, the event, uh, the event by, dist by priority distribution. We have reports showing uh, average alarm rates, the most frequent alarms with KPI values, uh, fleeting alarms, standing alarms. Um, these are all EMUI reports, uh, while this one here is more specific to your reason. It shows the uh, total number of alarms, but in, the, in red and blue it shows the, uh, all, all the cleared alarm, but the ones that have been acknowledged or unacknowledged. We have reports showing KPI values for all the days of that report with different type of KPIs here. We have more sophisticated reports um, calculating the bad actors and comparing the, uh, the value of uh, these uh, bad actors between now and the last uh, three, uh, the, the, the previous three months. We have consequential analysis report, which is a more sophisticated report also, which uh, it can even suggest a number of uh, rules to be implemented to uh, uh, remove, for instance, in this case, chattering uh, in your system. Now, all these reports can be defined manually, like we did here for the My Report, but you can also embed all these uh, reports inside a um, PowerPoint or a Word document and upload these documents on your server. For instance, here we have uploaded one PowerPoint document containing a list of uh, reports. I will just open that PowerPoint uh, file here. It contains things like this, a WebEx report descriptor where you specify the type of report that you want uh, to produce and your start and end dates. For instance, in this case, it's a relative timestamp, 4 and 0. You define a number of slides like this, and once you've done with that, you upload that file in your server and then if you want to run it you just click that button I've done this before so I'll, because it takes a bit of time I'll just re show you the result of that run and it the system produces for you a report like this now where you recognize the various type of uh, report image and tabular displays that the system can produce for you but now they are embedded in a nice PowerPoint or uh, as I said, Word document. The last part of the presentation will be now on the administration tab, which is the tab that you can use to configure and control various area areas of the system. For instance, you can 
click on the title here of a section and check the uh, database connection, check the status, um, modify the database connection, close this again once you're done and look at other sections like the reporting setup where you can control the and com you can configure your KPI targets for instance decide where or not you want to include uh, a KPI on the average alarm rate or not you can modify these values if you not agree with the uh, default EMUA values that we've defined here you can control the frequency of the uh, PowerPoint reports that we have defined whether you want to send them or not send them and uh, at what frequency and uh, what what time of the day or the week you want to send this and of course you can define the distribution list inside this tab here and for instance another aspect of this section here you can define users create new users delete them and a last example here the system diagnostic that can be useful sometimes if you hit an error then you can go to this section and just click that button to download the logs the system logs from the server so that you can send that information straight to uh, your reason and this closes the presentation on the event reports. Thank you.